Tarzan in the house. His name is the real Tarzan. My man, the real Tarzan, came down. 24-year-old Michael Holston out on the water at night. With its scenes of charging rhinos, savage pygmies, and the great hunter. Tarzan. He's the king of the jungle. I'm so sorry, my bed has not been made. I stayed up all night last night working, taking care of the animals, doing some water changes, some bedding changes, doing a whole lot of cleaning for all my snakes. So today is going to be a little different. We are going to do a species spotlight. Today I want to highlight arboreal pythons and boas. So um, I wanna show you guys one of mine I have. I have a few, um, but this guy is uh, a special animal. Um, one of my dream snakes. And, uh, hey buddy, you okay? Oh, you tried to bite me. Look at this. Super sick animal, guys. If you guys can name this animal, comment down below what this is. Today's episode is going to be highlighted for, like I said, some of the most badass snakes on the planet. So stay tuned. There's a whole lot more to come. Um, we got snakes, snakes, snakes galore this episode. I'm gonna leave my house. I'm gonna go to another person's house. We're gonna visit, see some insane animals. When I tell you insane, insane, crazy. So, and then we'll come back here and we'll highlight some of our animals we have in my room. So, peace. See you guys over there. Hey, All right, hello. guys, we made hello. it. Hello, this is the boy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, say, I feel the same. After school, got a bowl of cereal, some cartoons. My vibe. <laughs> I'll see you guys in there. All right, so we're upstairs. I want you guys to check this out. I'm not gonna do much talking. I'll ask a couple of questions, but I'm gonna let these guys take over the show. And I wanna show you guys something so cool that it reminds me of myself and many of you guys out there. A lot of people have animals, but some have special animals. So like I said, today's episode is solely based on snakes. It's our uh, special species day. So here we are. We're in her room, and show us what you got. I got um this snake, and his name is Banana Chick, <laughs> and he's a banana clown. Oh my goodness, adorable. How old is he? We don't, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think we've had him for five years. Five years? Yeah. Five years. Oh my I goodness. I think so. So she just, she raised them from a baby. Yeah. And Wait, can you get the girl off? And she raised both of them as babies. She paired them, she ultrasounded them, she incubated them, she pulled out the eggs, she incubated them. Uh, and she got, she got uh, four eggs. And this is the mom. Oh my goodness, they are beautiful. Beautiful. She takes baths with them. <laughs> <laughs> and what's your names again? So this one's Nicki Minaj and this one's Banancha. <laughs> Oh my goodness, so cute. 
This snake has been through the ringer. Like it's never bit. She sleeps with it sometimes. Yeah, mm. one time um, I accidentally had him in my bed for overnight. <laughs> Okay, hold it. Wait, wait, hold it steady. Okay, hit the pause button. Okay, now I want you to take, hit this button right here, the A, and I want you to hit the little bar, hit the little bar. And then I want you to take the top of the blue, yep, right, right here. Take the bottom right underneath, right underneath, right underneath. Okay, M watch out real quick. Um, she's already starting to move. And she's at 20 millimeters. And then we can do the other one. And that shows... Daddy, she's moving. 20, 20 circles. Daddy, she's moving. Daddy, she's moving. Okay, wipe her. Okay, but... We'll, she... we'll pair them one more, you'll pair them one more time this weekend after she eats, okay? Keep going. Two. Good. Oh, they're both they're touching. Okay, let's they're, they're oh, turn the light on. Okay, put it on there to see if there's veins. Put it, put it right on. Good. Yeah, go to the other one. Everywhere? Yeah, go to the other one. Wait, is that a real baby? Those are, yeah, those are veins. That's the start. Go to, That's a real baby. Go to this one. This one. Okay, go to that one. Oh my gosh. Nice. Oh my gosh, I think there's gonna be there's gonna be real babies. Yeah, go to the other one. Yes, I hope she doesn't lay any slugs. There's no slugs, those are pretty big. Yep, there's veins there. Go to the other one. Beautiful. We have no slugs. No slugs. Yay. Do you remember Rainbow Dash away the slugs? Yeah, that was like two, three years ago. Yeah, but now High five. Rainbow Dash away the slugs. All right, I now. mean, I mean, um, snakeys yeah. in the middle. Yep, right on top. Just put a, a right just, in the middle. Not too hard. Not too hard. Because they're because some right, of them right are up really, here. really just squashy. a little bit, just a little bit. That's it. Put. Good. Why couldn't you use a regular one? I don't know. Let's do that one. Just a sharpie. Good. Can I peek my cross from these two? Yeah. Good. All right, now we're going to put them in their real leg box, okay? Yeah. Several days later. outside with him like wherever they go she has a backpack um it's it's crazy that's amazing man but, but yeah i love to see this man and then these are the so we sent one to we sent one to mj which was can the, you get out all the babies yeah we sent one to mj which was a female uh super banana yeah. clown like really bad badass oops can i say that i'm very good man so these are Wait, uh, can i put these are their super, offspring. Super Can I pull them out? Yeah, super banana, oh. pastel, heck clown. Wow. So that's her babies that she produced. Wow, congratulations. And then, and then drum roll, please. For the whole pack. For the whole pack. Oh, wow, <laughs> that thing is smoking. This is a super banana pastel clown. All four genes. <laughs> oh man, super banana pastel clown. Female. Female. We're not. I, you know what? I in twenty years of keeping snakes, I never owned ball pythons. Never. <laughs> this this was our first ball python. For, wow. You know, for her, and I'm not really I'm not really 
I don't know too much about you know the morphs and all the genes. For sure, we know we know what's going on a little bit. <laughs> this is amazing! Wow! Wow! Look at your offspring! You did such a great job! High five! That's what I'm talking about. This is so cool. I mean, this one is awesome. Look at that patterning! Wow! And this one has like purples in it, just like your bed. And then the one that I gave to MJ, it has pretty much pretty. Purple. Yeah, I'll show you a picture. Of it. Yeah, wow. we'll, we'll show you a picture and so and drum roll please for the other special <laughs> one because we're uh, it's already at MJ's house, so we're gonna show her on a picture. The energy, guys. The energy. Yeah, there's a lot of energy. Love it. It's crazy because like uh, uh, like uh, you know like the last couple months I've been reading so many like so many books and just my mental state is like on another level it's yeah crazy and just trying to sell in them that way when they grow older you know they're 10 100 times better than you know for sure what I was and what I'm capable of achieving you know and it's just about raising them the right way you know? amen bro. and about showing them not just saying it you know but just being, the by word, being your actions yeah that's awesome um, man I love that you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode so far. This is just the start. I mean, how cool is this? How many of you guys that are reptile keepers now? Um, I, I always, people always say it's a hobby, but in all reality, this is our life. This is our lifestyle. You know, this is our careers. This is what we're made for. And we all started just like this. So we're going to get more out. Stay tuned. Be right back. All right. So this is your favorite book. Let me see your book you got. All right. So this is a little green tree python. That's yellow, just trying to struggle to struggle to live and have fun. <laughs> All right, what you got over there? Show me. <laughs> this is awesome. Are green tree pythons your favorite? Hmm. Or ball python? I no. don't know. No, what's your favorite snake? I don't know. What's your favorite snake? A lucistic cobra. Oh, a lucistic cobra? Yeah. Oh my goodness. So don't give me some. Yes. <laughs> that one, that one, so I was not going to guess that. And then it was like, and then it just jumped off a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Then the prince was like, All right. So the next one is very very special i showed you guys in the beginning of the episode a cool snake and i want you guys to comment down below what you think it is or if you know comment down below but we're gonna get some facts we're gonna get schooled i'm gonna get schooled from one of the pros so take it up <laughs> uh i'm no pro but <laughs> my my opinion i think a lot of people keep their snakes way too hot um you know going back from old days 20, 30 years ago, just people just didn't know. So 90 degrees, 87 degrees, I think it's a lot of misconception. People, new people that get into the green tree python game, uh, they have them set at 87, 88 degrees, 24 seven or 87, 88, and then nighttime like 83. There's no way snakes need to be that hot 24 seven, just like humans, they need a, a cool down period, you know? For sure. So you should always drop those temps at night. I keep. Pretty much all my green trees on my basins around the same 83 84 during the day 78 at night wow 78 on the hot spot at night so that means on the cool side it's like 74 75. Mm -hmm. my snakes don't have problems they, they don't have respiratory issues they're healthy uh, just because i say that you don't want to drop those temperatures down very quickly if you're going to change things up you want to go one degree a week okay un until you get to your desired so if you're keeping your hot spot at 82 at nighttime Drop a degree a week until you get to 79, 78, wherever you feel, you know, as well wow. for you. Thank you so much for that, man. So with, with these guys, uh, you want me to say the name? Yeah, yeah, for sure, uh, So with the Bolins, um, I think, you know, where they come from, which is, uh, there's a, a few different places in Indonesia that they come from, and I keep it on my phone so we can see. So I haven't checked in a while, but I'm going to check right now. I'm going to check Good Enough Island. Um, and we're going to check the temperatures, right? So we're going to check the temps. So check this out. Temps right now are, are 61 degrees. A good enough island, right? 59 at night. Um, 82 
63. So the Eastern Highlands, 4, 79, 48, 52. So these are the temperatures that the Bolins are at right now. Mm. Um, you know, when I when I got my mail, um, he was kept at like 88 in a cool spot of 80. As soon as I got him, I dropped. The, he gets three uh, hot three times during the day, a total of five to six hours of heat throughout the day. So two hours, two hours, one or two hours in the evening, mm -hmm. where the hot spots like at 87, and that's on the branch. So he's got to come up to the branch, right? Other than that, the heat turns off, and it's usually around 72 degrees, and then at nighttime it gets a little bit cooler. Right, so around 70 degrees. Um, once we move them into the bigger cage, I want to drop it down into the 60s sometimes. Mm. Okay, so I think... Uh, now, quick question, these guys live up high, correct? In the mountains, yeah, exactly. in the swamps, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's naturally cooler up there. It's, yeah, it's wet, it's very wet, uh, it's cold, definitely cold. So I think that's one of the key things is temperature. Obviously there's a lot of other things which... Um, there's a lot of people that have been working with these guys for many years that are figuring out. But I think one of the key things is, is temperatures. That's with any snake. Got you. Yeah. So what what type of light bulb would you put in here, if any? Or what? Uh, so, 25 watt? So I don't have, I have a heat panel up here. Got you. Right? Like ceramic? It, it, yeah, it's from, uh, it's it's a radiant heat panel. Okay. Right here. Okay. Got you. And basically it's connected to a thermostat. Okay. Okay, wait. What are you doing? Wait, we'll and get him. Under. Okay, we'll get him. So it comes on from ten, from ten to twelve, shuts off. It, it goes to eighty seven degrees, then it uh, turns back on uh, from two to four, shuts off, and then from from six to seven, one hour. Wow. And that's it. Okay. Uh, and that's how I do with the, with the little one too. So we'll we'll get him out. Okay. He's usually all over the place. So I have a I have a hide spot in here for him. Um, and sometimes he's, he disappears for a couple of days. Sometimes you see him. So sometimes he doesn't even grab heat. Okay. He'll be gone. He'll be under the water ball or over here. So let me grab him. But this time he's under his little honey okay. bowl. And they love to talk. Yeah. Yeah. Very very vocal. Yeah, they love to talk. <laughs> And the light that I have in here is the UVB light, because they need that. I feel like it's Daddy, I'll, I'll, hold, there you go. I'll hold him while you get out marshmallow. Okay. Grab him. Wow! Look at that sneak! They just vibrate. Vi what? Do you want to see the rainbow on him? Yes, I do. We're gonna put it in the sun, oh. right? Sorry, buddy. Wow! You have to go. That's amazing. I and just see name? a little. His name is Megatron. Megatron? That is such a cool freaking name. <laughs> How'd you come up with that? You watch Transformers? No. Why Megatron? Uh, well, my friend named Jojo told me that Megatron is a... That Megatron is a Transformer, and then I just figured out I wanted to name him Megatron. That's awesome. What a snake. I mean, guys, talk about a dream snake. Talk about... A species that everybody desires, and she has it in her room, along with many other cool animals. Including, I mean, we're gonna pull out my other one named Marshmallow. Wow, the and color, right? The yeah, man, just yeah. insane. So crazy. Look at that. It looks like velvet, man. You know. This is beautiful. What is that velvet? Our, our guy's about almost the same size as yours. Probably a little bit bigger. Um, he was born in 2018, so. He's a 2019. Super cute, yeah. man. I feed him. I feed him right now. I'm feeding him every every 14 days. Okay. Daddy. It's good. Okay. My guy came from a zoo in Texas. They no, were uh, downsizing um, to make some money for their gift shop. Okay. And I got lucky, man. Oh no. You know? So yeah. I got him right in my room, just like you. He's next to my bed, just like that. Same size, cave, a little bit bigger. Probably like another 12 inches, if that. But yeah, I'm super happy. But oh now my we're goodness. gonna pull out marshmallow. Oh man! You so guys, check Maggie. out that red. You Go ahead, explain Maggie. that to us. So you know, as as most uh, most most of these snakes are born um, with a different color and they go through their OCC. Girl, 
Uh, and they change, they start changing around a year old. Uh, wow. So basically he looked like that when he was younger. And then they go all jet black. So that's the female. So hopefully in like five, six, seven years, we'll get to, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. For sure, man. Look uh, at that animal. But it's not even really for breeding. These guys are just so, so amazing yeah, to man. have. For sure. <laughs> awesome creatures, dude. Wow. Yeah, for sure. I'll give you a chance. I, man, it, it just feels so good, man. Guys, I wish you guys can feel how this snake is. It's just insane. I've been watching my guy for the past couple days since I've had him, and I've just been in straight shock, in awe. I wake up like, I don't know, like 5 a.m. I set my alarm, and I go check him out to see how he's thermoregulating. He's always moving, I love it. But just to see this guy up close, and also see someone else. This is like, this is my second time in my life hanging out with the bull and spike on. So, um, I got my first experience a couple days ago, but it's just a blessing to see another one. And also, a little bit red baby over there. So cute. Wow, man. These are so special. Come on, Marshmallow. Really? Come on, show them your face. <laughs> Bad Marshmallow. You never do that again. Marshmallow's a good boy. Good girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, guys. So these are the Bowling Pythons. Hope you guys get some good information. If we've missed anything, comment down below if you have any yourself. Um, how big do these guys get total? I mean, maybe eight, eight feet. Eight foot. I think it, it all depends, you know. Uh, research out when they go out there they're all different sizes there's big females there's small females that are actually having babies so. wow i saw some on youtube um some guy i can't think of his name had a thick one man yeah it had to be like eight nine ten foot yeah so i know mccurley's got some kevin mccurley up a nerd um a couple guys got some in the states but um, man thank you so much dude yeah well guys we're gonna keep going hope you guys enjoyed this first segment we'll see you guys in the next room Now, what were you saying about the UV turning yellow? I, yeah, I think, you know, sometimes you see some of the bowlings, they're they're white. You see these marks? Mm hmm But if you see his, they're more yellowish, and I believe that's from the UV. Wow, man. And they need UV. You For know, sure. Some, some people don't use UV. What an animal, you guys. What the heck? And they blow their nose. I love when they talk. <laughs> yes. like, yeah. you know? She's always like, what's he saying, daddy? I was like, oh, your hair's beautiful. <laughs> what's he saying, daddy? <laughs> All right, guys. So we're finished here. We're going to go into the next room. Let's go. Introducing. Drum roll, please. Wow. Oh, my goodness. This is heaven. Oh. <laughs> So cool, man. What a setup, brother. They look phenomenal, dude. Look, guys, if you're gonna keep animals, this is how you do it. I mean, flawless, very clean, hey, live plant. plants everywhere. I mean, wow, dude. Guys, this is how you do it. Now, I had never been a big fan of keeping animals in tubs or even inside, I like to put my animals outside, but if you're gonna keep them inside, this is how you do it, man. Look at this, insane. And I want to show you yes. how, I want to show you my two, um, my, the two, the two um, venomous snakes. Wow. This is the boy named Bumblebee. Bumblebee, I'm feeling the Transformers vibes for sure. And then you see that little, the little thing in there. Mm -hmm. Um, her name is Purple Blanky. <laughs> Purple Blanky, I love it. And what are they? We have a snake that that has never been alive in the whole wide world, and I have, and it's she's a green tree python, and there's no other snake like her. Introducing. Oh my goodness! Yeah. What the heck? <laughs> what is that thing? <laughs> How'd you get that? Yeah. <laughs> Where'd you get that from? A unicorn or something? No. Did you find anything at the end of a rainbow? No. Where'd you get that? <laughs> Narnia? No. 
Oh, Bikini Bottom. No, there's no way you got this from a pet store. You created this thing, huh? No. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> wow. Guys, are you guys seeing this? Are you guys seeing this? What the heck? Bro. Is she going to strike? No, no, just hold her, just support her. Wow, guys. Support her. Let her go where she wants to go, okay? Let her go where she wants to go. That's right, just turn around this way. Good. She's got it. Wow. Insane. You see the tongue is pink? Wow, bro. So school us, school us, man. Give us, give us the juice. Well, so with her, I, I got this girl from uh, David Termini. He produced her in 2000 and. Ten, I believe, um, from an F3, I believe it's an F3 Aru, to a uh, high high yellow mustard male uh, from OS, and he had an all regular clutch, they were all yellow, and he was at uh, Alexa Lover, okay, uh, he had an um, all yellow clutch, and I believe he sold them to the pet store, and he was going to go take them to the pet store, and this one started, already stopped knocking on the window, this one started having a white spot on its head and he thought that it was something was wrong with it you know like a fungus or something like that so he ended up just keeping it keeping it because he didn't want to give a, a you know an unhealthy snake and then she just started turning all white wow bro uh, she just laid eggs uh 10 days ago so she actually just ate for me on on sunday yeah on sunday wow man um but she's definitely one of a kind. You can see like the, there's no green tree pile. Huh? Their tongues are, are pink. They're always black. Um, and usually she has a little bit more yellow, but she's very hormonal. So she, she just, she's all white right now. Which oh, is insane. And if you look at the eyes, the eyes are just, I mean, they just tell such a great story. <laughs> you know? What the heck, man? This is insane, dude. It's a crazy snake, right? Yeah, bro. My <laughs> eyes can't like. <laughs> it's my brain's not registering that this. That it looks like it's Photoshop, you know. It's in your closet. I'll tell you a funny story. Uh, I get I get stuff sent to me all the time on Instagram from just different animals around the world, and somebody sent me two green tree pythons on like a perch, you know. And I didn't have any credit to tag anybody. I didn't know where it came from, and I reposted it. And it was yours, bro. Yeah, dude. And there's so many people were were, were actually. Tagging like yo, that's that's your dude, snake. So your snake. insane, dude. Yeah. How we got the meat, man. This is yeah. incredible, dude. What the heck? You want to hold that? Yeah, man. Absolutely. I just want to get some more. Fix? I'm gonna zoom in for our, yeah. our, our our followers, subscribers to see this thing, man. I'm close. Wow, man. Eleven years old, huh? She's eleven. Yeah. I believe 2010 tells a lot now. I mean, are you guys getting what I'm seeing? Because you see the little yellow flecking in between with the black spots, bro, the blue, and also the freaking white. What the heck? I'm blown away, man. I can hold them later. I want you guys to keep going. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I love to observe and see you guys do your thing. You got another T Rex in there? Oh my goodness, I love Velociraptors. Yeah. I have one at home. Two at home. So she was she was bred to Optimus Prime. Um hey, did we put did we put marshmallow back? Yeah. Yeah? Can you double check for me please? I already know. Okay. <laughs> so she was bred to, uh, one thing is um I'm very big on on Nato virus. Um a lot of lost uh, because a lot of people don't either they don't know about Nile virus or they don't take care of pretty much all the babies that I sell uh, comes with a test knowing that I'm selling something that doesn't have Nile virus uh, my whole collection gets, gets tested pretty much uh, once a year the whole collection and then I test before I pair and I test after I pair as well wow man so uh, very big advocate you know that way we, we don't spread it and we're not just you know killing uh, just you know, innocent snakes for sure. In the, in the process, I think if everybody does their part, 
we can pretty much eliminate if you test and you know what's positive and what's not. Don't kill the positive snakes, but just keep them separate and let's not contaminate you know, others. I have a lot of friends who've lost hundreds and thousands of dollars in collections from uh from you know from this disease wow man so but anyway so she was paired with optimus prime and uh optimus prime i, I paired this 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 male he's such a stud i paired him for pretty much a year straight he went last year he got paired up with her in september and uh i, I was gonna wait till december to pair her up but i ultrasound her and i saw she had 18 millimeter follicles i got excited and I paired him up, and I think I, the, her follicles are way too big, so she. Explain that to me. So, uh, you know, uh, snakes they grow follicles, mm -hmm. right? So the bigger the follicles, as the male gives them the sperm, they grow bigger and bigger and bigger. Obviously, follicle development is is but is spurred on by maybe food, temperature, just the male being present. You know, the drop of the temperature, um, all this stuff. I keep my snakes pretty cool anyway. So for me, ultrasounding and doing my homework, I feel that females usually grow follicles two to three times a year. Wow. You know, to where a lot of people, they guess, and oh, I'm gonna have, I have eight miniature pythons, I'm gonna pair them up all in September, right? Mm -hmm. Or start cooling in September, and then try to pair up in October, and then instead of getting eight, I'm getting maybe two that go. It's just a guessing game. So I have an ultrasound, I don't guess, it's science as well. Uh, and when I see that they're creating follicles now, I feel like there's a point where the follicles are too big and you introduce the male, uh, it's just too far along and the male's not able to fertilize those eggs. And I think that's what happened with her last year. Wow. Um, yeah. Now I'm learning so much, man. Now, Thank you so much. On dude. the other hand, so he got paired up with, with, with two other females and went back to her. So he, he just got into his cage. He's been, this cage has been, been empty for a year, but I think from pairing him for so long and he did so good when he went back to her, uh, maybe he just didn't have a, a too much strong sperm, so I only got uh, six eggs, one, one, one bad. So, so they're all really good. You just know this is their space, so I just want to tell them that I'm here. So hey, I'm here. Okay, he's not gonna strike. You also gotta know your snakes too, you know. For sure. But uh, he's he is gorgeous. He's an insanity male. He was created um, by Sandro. And uh, Sanity Mel was a Lamina and a Biop, and they and they made an Insanity Mel, which was uh, what his line is. This and, is Insanity, bro. So, I understand why. <laughs> yeah. So imagine what these babies. You know, he was a red Neo. Mm -hmm. She was a yellow. So if I can get yellow and and red, it's yeah. Wow, bro. The colors, right? Insane. Just crazy. And how old is this guy? He's uh four years old. Dude, you had he's a stud. A insane collection, dude. I mean, is anybody out there else keeping stuff like this? Yeah, there's a few. Um, Frank he Frank more mostly deals with like the the high blue blue blues. Okay. Uh, David D, I think he's got the Condro Gamma Unlock. He's got some um, insane animals. But yeah, there's a, there's a few people, uh, Marshall Mendez, uh, Bill Siegel, you know, these are the, like the, the heavy hitters. My old my old boss, uh, my sensei, he had a uh, he had a mite face um, back in the day. I think it was humongous, and he also had a cyclops. Okay, so sick. But I mean, this is just these are next level, dude. Yeah, yeah. So all I've been doing the last six years is just trying to collect the best. I want to create the baddest snakes in the world. But that's my goal is to create the baddest snakes in the world. Um, and then just also to inspire people, you know? Bro, I'm inspired. Like, And you also have the like, baddest snake on the planet right now. <laughs> that is sick. I appreciate really. it. I think you've uh, far achieved that uh, that goal right there. We're just, we're literally just getting started though. Dude, that's amazing, man. So, guys, look at this uh, specimen. The suit's going to come. I don't know. You got guy. Dude, I'm in like my jaws drop, dude. Oh, amazing snakes, man. Dude, give me some, bro. Please. <laughs> I like, appreciate you coming. Dude, what the heck? Definitely good vibes. For sure, man. I, I, when I saw your stuff and watched your, your podcast late last night, I was like, dude, this guy's going to be sick, dude. I had no clue what to get myself into. But like I said, uh, it's, yeah. 
far beyond my expectations, bro. Talk and I'm pretty this. sure everybody else, you guys agree that this guy has insane <laughs> setup, insane animals, super clean, super nice. Like, I haven't seen the babies yet. But dude, talk yeah. about Cyclops. So I paired Optimus Prime, I paired him up with Ocean. So uh, my boy Joey, I got him into Green Trees. We, we met. I had the ultrasound. One of my guys was like, hey, can you help this guy? It's all about just passive, pay it forward, help people out. Uh, you just you you never know. It's just good karma, man. You For know. Sure. So I go to I go to meet Joey. I'm like I just you know he's like how much? I'm like I don't need money, man. I'm just here to help. You know he's got ball python. So we went. I ultrasound and we started talking snakes. And I told him I have my collection. So anyway, ended up he came here. He fell in love with the green tree pythons. Thirty forty thousand dollars deep. You know because <laughs> yeah. once you start, you don't stop. Yeah, it's, it's um, an addiction, man. Yeah. So this female, I had opportunity to get her, but I I I told him to to grab her. And just to help him out, um, I paired I paired Optimus with her. Mm. She is a badass Cyclops female, like badass. And she she's made some badass babies. Uh, so this is her. This is her. Yep. Oh, so this is a locality animal. Wow. But you can see the blue. I have a light. You want me to bring a light? No, bro. This yeah, is perfect. This is the good. lighting's amazing right now. I can get nice and close. Look at this. See from back here. Oh wow! It's yeah. so clear, yeah. man. She is a. I mean, for that's a locality animal. Shh. Insane. Bro. One of the nicest cyclops I've ever seen. Wow! Look at the blue on the dorsal, yeah. bro. So she was a red neo. So a uh, uh, fun fact, you know, a lot of people if they don't know, you know, um, how to. How do you know it was a red neo or a yellow neo, right? Mm -hmm. So when you look at locality animals, if you see, um, you you see the 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 blue dorsal, right? And you, mm -hmm. right? Do you see that? You see like the the triangles, and you see how there's, it's not blue. There, it's a different color, almost greenish. Or do you see? Yeah, dude, that's insane. so. That's how you know it's a red. If it was a yellow baby. It would be solid blue. It would be a solid blue line with solid, solid uh, triangles. You guys hear that? Just like constantly learning. A forever a student. And the guy earlier said he's not a pro. Yeah, right. No, not, <laughs> not even close. Yeah, dude. Yeah, whatever, bro. Not even close. Dude, so sick. And I mean, look, every single, every one of their eyes is different. I mean, look at these, look at the eyes. I just feel like the eyes tell a story and it's, you're looking at the universe and yeah, it's looking right back at you, you know, if you feel the energy. There, there's colors in reptiles you know? uh, that are not with any other animals on the planet, you know? And bro, this, these snakes, dude, are insane. How just, like, this is natural, you know? Yeah. It's, it's insane, guys. I feel like they're, you know, they're, they're in good health, uh, you know, their diet, I don't overfeed, I feel like. All of them, most of America overfeeds their animals. Yeah. You know, I feed my females once every three weeks. I feed my males once every four weeks as adults. Wow, bro. You know, do you have people feeding them weekly? Mm-hmm. You know? um, yeah, this is Ocean. And I'll show you her babies. If you want to see her babies. Absolutely, man. Show us all you got, dude. Whatever you want to showcase, we're here. We're in no rush. So... These are her babies. Um, so half of them are, are Joey's. I got them all, they're, they actually were all pretty easy to get established. Uh, but these are some of the babies. Actually, oh yeah, we can take it out. Wow, man. Almost like a chocolate brown. Yeah. So freaking cute, man. Definitely, definitely different. Now, this is a pairing from... From her. From Ocean. And Ocean and Optimus, and Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime. Yeah. Wow. Can you bring some light over here a little bit? Yeah. The lighting's perfect right now. Sun's just low. Yeah, dude. Look at this. Wow. You look like very reduced pattern. Mm-hmm. What a specimen, dude. I'll bring another one for you. All right, thank you, dude, so much. Are you guys enjoying this episode? If you are, smash that like button, 
subscribe to the channel, comment. Which one of these was your favorite? Was it uh, Purple Blanky? Was it Optimus Prime? Was it Ocean? Uh, Bumblebee? I mean, the, the Megatron, come on. The names are actually <laughs> epic over here. I might have to steal some. So if you see me on the channel in a couple of weeks and I got one of your yeah. names stole, I'm giving you credit now. <laughs> I got to bring Megatron to somebody at the house. <laughs> So these, these are, are just some, and you can see the variation. Um, I think these ones with the orange, with the orange diamonds, I think these are just gonna be, they're gonna turn out pretty uh, exceptional. Wow, man. And you can, I mean, the, how much pattern wow. it has, you know? And the first one you showed us had basically nothing. Yeah. So what do those turn out to be when they're like that? Never, you don't even know. <laughs> you don't even know. It's it, it's gonna be it's gonna be mind blowing. Yeah. It's gonna be better than than that, pretty much. So. Um, I'm drooling over here, man. Yeah. These are definitely. I mean, here. I just want you to see the underneath, like how how red. Wow, oh, man. Hold on. Look, look at that color. I don't know. Can you see it? <laughs> yeah, man. Look at that. You guys catching that? Wow, man. It's like orange. <laughs> what the heck, dude? I've never seen nothing like that. What? I uh, hope you guys are catching this, man. The sun is like perfect. Ah, oh, man. This is great, dude. Great, great stuff, man. I'm geeking out right now, guys. Like, did you guys see that? I hope you guys are catching this because my heart's going. Like, this is like, this is stuff. This is a kid in a candy store. It's Christmas, you know? So it's, it's super inspiring to see other setups, other ways of keeping babies, you know? Yeah. It's, it's awesome, man. i never seen with the water like that, too. So, I, so it, that's, that's more of a check for me. Um, you know, you can keep them on paper towels. Um, I don't put too, you know, don't put too much water. It's just a little bit of water, you know, not so they can, because you'll see them on the floor at night just swimming, you mm -hmm. know, which is good. And they drink water and they stay hydrated. But I change the water every day for the babies. As soon as they, they, they defecate, or mm -hmm. they, the water is always clean. I check it in the morning when I wake up at 4.45 in the morning. Mm -hmm. I check it at night before I go to sleep at wow. like 10 o'clock at night. 11. So I'm always changing water. It just keeps me in check. Yeah. Uh, so they get fresh water. I think the biggest thing is, you gotta keep these guys hydrated. For sure. Um, and that's why, and if you see a lot of my cages, I have multiple water spots. I have, you know, one, two, three. Most of them have, you know, two, three at, at, at least. Wow, I like that, man. Yeah. So you see like one, two back here. This one, one, two, uh, one, two, three. Wow, yeah. One, two, this one's got uh, one, two, three. Yeah, so between two to three. You guys catching that? Multiple water spots for your animals. I love it. Fresh water every single day. Just keep it going. The, the main these cages they get fresh water once a week. Um, I clean I I clean the glass once a week. Uh, I change their pads once a week. But the babies I change the water every day. Um, wow. So you have some sick and, I mean, Amazon you're, basins you're, too, you're man. You're always you're always cleaning. You know. For sure. I'm just saying your main cleaning. If somebody goes to the bathroom, I'm, I, it'll be ten o'clock at night. I'm they're striking at me because it's nighttime, right? Yep. But I'm still trying to clean. <laughs> um, okay. What do you want to see next? Bro, Amazon see. basins. You want to go to what basins? else? Dude, honestly, whatever you want to showcase, man. Okay. Give it to us. So then, I put, next I put Optimus Prime with Fluttershy. Fluttershy will, will strike a little bit, okay. so she's ready. Um, but I just get the, the hook and just let her know that I'm here. So she's a Sky Topaz times Biot. Uh, Sky Topaz. Yeah. So you know, all these are just bloodlines from from years ago, you know, just refined, so. Got you. Uh, and what you see is this girl is, I wanna say, what is she, almost five years old? And she's still changing. She's gonna just keep getting bluer and bluer as she uh, gets older. But, I mean, you can pretty much, you know, when I got her, she was pretty, pretty green. So she's a designer, super, like, unlike, unlike she was, she's a locality animal. Mm -hmm. So designer to designer. Wow, um, dude, this is insane. So how, well, you says as she, she's getting older, she's still changing. Yes, yeah, so a lot of them actually will, will change, will keep changing until five, you know, a lot of Biox, mm -hmm. it, it could take five years for them to 
to completely change to what they look like. Some of them just keep they keep getting better as they get older. Man. You know? So you uh, so a full on maturity is about five years old for a green tree, huh? I think so, yeah. Wow. You know, I, I usually I wouldn't pair a female in, at least until she's past four. Mm. Basins, you're talking about five, six. You know, I go by age. I, I don't so much go by weight. A lot of people go by weight. Got you. I'm I'm gonna wait until they're at least four or five years old. So what about the males? Uh, and males, that could be different sometimes. Males are already like uh, in a year, two years. Ma- speed, some males you know? eighteen months. Uh, but usually I wait about about three years. Wow. Until they're about three years old. I love that man. So, yeah, this is the, so she. I put her up with Optimus. These now these babies are the sickest babies I've ever seen. Every single one of them is different. Kind of like like the ones that you saw here. Yep. There's some that are the same. Some are, are you know, some have the orange. Every single one of these babies is unique in its own way. You plan on holding all of them back? Uh, so what I did is I sold one. Mm-hmm. I sold one. I'm keeping the rest back for a year and a half. I wanted to sell one so somebody has the opportunity to get something that I have no idea where it's going to turn to. I like that. So same with this. I sold one. You're a good man because I would have just kept all of them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I sold one. I don't even know which one I'm giving yet. Oh. And the, the person that bought it was like, I don't care. I just want a baby. It doesn't matter which one. Yeah. Like, don't you just want to see which one I'm letting go first? <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. I was like, okay. So I don't know which one I'm letting go, I'm letting go of. Uh, but these, I mean, this is just crazy. It's... I, I don't know if, if you can like, I don't know if you can. You can catch really this. Bring in the stomach and definitely catch it. Where? Right here is perfect. Like, do you see the the smoky orange almost? Yeah, man. I'm catching it. Let me focus a little bit. I mean, sometimes I just stare at these things. Dude, like, I oh, I man. don't blame you, man. I would be in here every single day, all day, just. Gazing. Wow, man. Definitely catching him for sure. What the heck? Guys, look at this. And they just have such crazy details, you know? There we go. Now it's perfect. What the heck, man? You hear my son? He thinks he's the, the Hulk. Is a cock smash. <laughs> I love the energy here, man. It's it's it's, it's contagious for sure. Yeah. And then here's another one. I just now you see you see how this is different. Yeah, it's like purple, amber color. And the darker they are, they say like the better, you know. Mm-hmm. So this is gonna be my army. My one of my goals is like in 2026. Mm-hmm. Is that's my goal in 2026 is. I want to try to breed at least 25 females in one year. I mean, you're just literally just breeding snakes. Uh, it's going to, you know, just, and then it's like, I'm done. I just want to, you know, I want to do something that, that, you know, try to get like two, three hundred baby green tree meals, you know, just to get them, just to get them uh, to produce them is one thing, but the, probably the hardest part is getting them established is, mm-hmm. is what a lot of people uh, fell at or... It's probably it's and it's all just it's mental man it's mental attitude it's just for sure how you you know how you you go about it uh, and just it's about time giving time um, I think so that first one I think was my favorite one and then this one as well this is probably the darkest one out of the group it's just oh, literally black black dude dang bro I don't, if, I don't know if definitely can catch it real quick yeah and this one still needs to shed though. It's, it's sh- every every single one of them is shed except this one. This one should be shedding probably tonight. Dude, and it's bro, it's a black green tree. It's python, a black. Baby. It's what crazy. The heck. We can go in the bathroom. I have like a light if we bro, want I can, to see. We can see. This is it. insane. It's catching it. Okay. I could be here for hours, man. Bro, same. <laughs> same. Um. Show you all of them. I just want to show you. Here's, here's a different one. So check this out. So here's here's another di- just different, and you can look at the color. But then the color, but then see that's a different red than this red. And then this one is lo- a lower pattern, right? You see how it's a reduced pattern. Mm-hmm. 
Man, you've got some special stuff, dude. Spectacular stuff, bro. You are a, you have a Avengers lineup of, Avengers. Uh, <laughs> of, of, of green trees for sure. And then I'm gonna show you another one. What? Did you see that little black one? Insane, guys. Oh yeah, there's another, this is another dark one. And then, let's go with this one. And then this is one of my favorites too. This one is almost like the first one. It, I can't even explain it. I don't even know. Like you, you see like that burnt orange with the double black line. You guys catching that? This one's super dark too. Yeah, man, that one's definitely giving yeah. some purple grape vibes. Yeah. It almost looks like the uh, Bowens a little bit. Crazy. I, I wanna, here, let me pull one off of the, off the branch. So they're always like, oh, they're very, you know, they, they, they are delicate, but they're also very hardy. Uh, you just got to watch out for the tail because their tail is so small. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the one thing you don't want to kink tail. Like I bought snakes where uh, just I already knew they had kink tails, but you, you'd, you'd never want to pull it off. So it'll just come to you. You just let it go. You tap it a little bit and it'll move. But I mean, do you see like the pattern? Insane. Just that the black markings coming down so thick. I just can't understand sometimes how people are just so petrified of snakes. But when you see something like this, he is looking so freaking cute, man. Are you scared of that little? Look at that little thing, man. It is so harmless. It's so cute. I just want to kiss it. It's like a live gummy worm. Dude. Yeah, your collection is, is this one's this one's gonna be special too. I feel like for sure, bro. Every single one of those is special <laughs> for sure. Get, uh, let me check my phone real quick. My, my wife is texting. Gotcha. Me. All right, guys. So you guys saw those babies like <laughs> insane. We're gonna keep going. Stay tuned. Be right back. Quick, a little commercial break. Uh, which one do you wanna? Who can? What's your favorite uh, Amazon basin? Uh, so my favorite Amazon Basin is going to be Snow White. Um, these three I picked up from uh, Ed Marino. He's, he's probably the, he's the one that made, made the Amazon Basins look like this. Like it's, it's insane. Like what he's done in the last 20 years where he, where he just produced, never sold, just kept the best ones, paired the best ones. And he's the one that came up. I think that is able to go into the next level. But I think this is probably the best, best uh, Amazon Basin he's ever let go. Uh, Ed's a really good friend of mine. Um, so this girl is Snow White. And uh, his her sister is Christmas, where she's just like all white. It just She just looks like a Christmas po postcard. Dude. Um, and this is like a sugar phase, huh? This is, uh, this is a snowflake. Snowflake. Yeah. So. And they're all, all your snakes super chill, dude. Yeah. Uh, there's just this guy down here. <laughs> <laughs> you always have that one day. You know, that one day <laughs> She's ready to go, though. Over there. Dude. Have you ever been tagged by one of these? Uh, nope. Good. Me neither. Nope. Don't want to. Nope. They're all, they're all pretty chill. I mean, I know my snakes too, you know. For sure. Um, now, every time I see anybody with a pet emerald, I always want to ask if they ever got bit. Uh, and I have one northern. She's actually in shed. I'll, I'll show her to you too. But, but I, I, I've got five just regular emeralds at home. Yeah, I have a female. I got them. I got them outside. Dude. But you see that white. Wow, man.
stellar animals, yeah. man. So they give live birth, unlike, uh, you know, pythons that lay eggs. Uh, it's oviviparous. Yes. And uh, what's the other word for it? Do, do you see, like, all this all this white, like, coming down her, her, her body? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The blue dude is insane, yeah. too, bro. So I'll show you her sister real quick. Shh. So I've heard her sister, and then I, I have an unrelated male, which, uh, you know, my plan is to... And uh, she's more, she has a more cleaner look. Mm -hmm. Like you can see she's more, she's got those those big, almost snow, you know, like, like when the house freezes, you know, and the ice, mm -hmm. uh, you know, kind of, uh, but she's just a lot cleaner. But wow, that, the man. other, yeah, see there, she not let me get her off. But you can see, like, I mean, look at that. Shh. What a specimen, dude. And that face is almost like that alien, that alien face. Yeah. Nuts. And then I'll show you the male. You just have to come back so we can like hit up. For sure. Everything. Definitely some updates for this stuff, man. I think our fans and followers are gonna love this episode, and um, they're gonna want to get more in tune with the, what you got going on this over here. Is venom. Wow. That guy is sick, dude. And you know, I got these guys. You're talking about five, six years before you can even breed them. Yeah. You know, the the, the patience game. They're a lot different than. Uh, green trees where you know green tree pylon you can pair a female up when she's three uh these you probably want to wait i'm sorry green tree pylon's four years where these you know five sometimes even six you know the, the older i feel is would be the better man thank you so much dude for letting us inside your life your home and showing us your babies dude what a what a what an awesome energy here very 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 clean place you can tell you love everything you do you raise your kids to love animals as well and it shows through your daughter her room mm -hmm. i mean bro this is an awesome awesome experience for me uh, i haven't been going to i haven't been to anybody's like private personal you know house because yeah. i just like to leave, give people their space you know i don't like people coming to my house you know? so <laughs> it's cool that, that you, you, you let me in you know we're both strangers to each other let the kids come and check out your animals <laughs> bro, anytime dude anytime i got some big stuff to love yeah i got a big nine foot croc monitor puppy dog team anyway, we, so we just went to one of my friend's house kevin uh he's got um a black dragon he's nice. got some lace matters and he's got a he just built a huge enclosure i'll show you some, some yeah man come by come feed all the rhino iguanas I got tons of stuff, man. Right. So you guys are more than welcome anytime. Good stuff. Mikasa Tsukasa, brother. Yeah, always. All right, guys. Tell us where we find you at, man. Um, I just have my Instagram, Ariely Max Aboreals. Okay. Um, and that's it. It's just, this is my bro, passion. Bro, you got to create a YouTube channel, bro. You've got to write some books on this stuff. You can follow my daughter, Snake Master Exotics. Boom. Um, guys, I'll we'll leave it make to sure her. <laughs> we have everything for their socials down below. Make sure you guys follow these guys. You know, it's again, you guys know, I don't gonna tell you guys anything else. You guys saw it for yourselves. I love y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It still continues after this. Really so, cool guy, by the way. Great energy. Um, yeah. Guys, fun, fun stuff. Love you guys. I'll see you guys in the car. And we got one more thing for you guys before we get home. Peace. Girl and her pets. Just, oh, no big deal. Just. Um, you know, my pets are freaking Amazon Basin, Emerald Tree Boas, and Boland's Pythons. What the heck? And literally, guys, all these animals are puppy dog tame. I mean, he's pulling these emeralds off the branches with his hands. All of them. Look at this specimen, man. And his name is a dark knight because he has, he's blind in one eye. He's got one black eye and one normal. Super sick. All right, guys, hope you guys are catching this on camera. My videography skills ain't the best, but I'm trying my best to get you guys focused, zoomed in, all that good stuff, so you guys can see these animals. <laughs> all right, guys, peace. Dirty boy. Bro, what the heck? All right, go off. School us. One of a kind. 
full, fully jet black Andalusian stallion. Good movement, 17.3 hands high, uh, which is rare for this this breed. Not rare, but to get them with a good confirmation and everything. Imported from uh, out of Europe, Spain. Um, so he's a little stressed out. He's still settling in at the moment. <clears throat> and uh, as you know, he's a stallion fully intact so he has some uh, he's a booger he got some you know stall stallion manners but uh, I've been working with him a little bit letting him settling in patient pose right here this is one that he start pacing and misbehaving <clears throat> you teach them patient by Tying them up on the post and uh, you know we gotta just let them settle in get used to the smells the sounds new surrounding and then we're gonna start working him slowly how old is he right now he's uh, eight years he's a top stud from out of Europe um, been bred many times special thank you to the people that let me get him because they were not eager to let him go because he's a top producer in uh, in Europe. Dog. That's big, right? That's Tyrone for you. Have a good night, guys.